This clearing is on pride. It's one of the seven sins, pride. Okay, so, you know, there's a difference between, between just kind of feeling a natural pride in, in something that you're accomplishing and what you're doing. But there's a big difference in the feeling of pride when your body has a lot of zingy sensations and the need to be recognized, okay? You know, to feel prideful of something that you've accomplished, that's, an, that's a kind of a human experience. But it's also something, that feeling when you've done something, it, it's not like you have to go show everybody, okay? There's a big difference when you got to let everybody know that you know, look what I've done, look at me, see me, I've accomplished this, aren't I amazing, aren't I just the, a magical miracle here, okay? So the feeling of pride in something that we are doing is a quiet sensation, okay? That's, that's a normal, healthy feeling to take pride in something that you're doing. You want to do something and, and you're doing it at your best. And you've given your best, you've done your best, and you're proud of what you have done. But at the same time, you don't need anybody else's acknowledgement. You don't need somebody else's approval or acceptance. Okay? So, if you're having experiences where, let's just say that you just put new drapes on your windows and you can't wait to tell everybody or everybody that comes in your house, you're showing them what you've done and you're really proud of that. That's not the kind of pride we want. That's ego pride. That's disconnection pride. That's self-grandiose pride. That's the I need you to see me pride. I need you to recognize me, which creates separation. Okay? And it can be on anything. A person can be a photographer and they can be sharing their images because they, you know, they're sharing their images. But they're, if they're sharing them because they want other people to acknowledge what a great photographer they are, that's pride. That's the negative pride. That's not the natural sense of pride, you know, that, we're, that we do in our just everyday living. It can be even our own, you know, enjoying cooking or preparing a meal or it could even be scrubbing the floor, but we're just, we're in the experience of it, and, but we're not looking for acknowledgement. We're not looking to be, uh, you know, recognized for what we're, what we're doing, what we're accomplishing. Pride also sets us apart. The more pride one has, like, okay, <laughs> sorry you guys, he just popped into my awareness, Trump. No. <laughs> okay? I'm not joking. He popped in for a reason because he's got his, the, there's a false pride. There is such a big disconnection from himself that he has no sense of other. There is no sense of the hurtfulness, the harm that he is actually causing and doing in that feeling of separation and making himself better than. That's prideful, okay? So the moment I have a feeling of being prideful, I set myself apart. And then there's no room for anyone to be at my table, if that makes sense, okay? Okay, so to make that a little bit clearer, if I'm having such pride in my own grandiosity or I'm the greatest or I'm going to save the country kind of thing, who can sit at my table that's going to meet me? Mm. Nobody. I get to put myself in a position of elevation even to the point of feeling godlike. Mm -hmm. I'm serious, I'm not joking, mm -hmm. okay? And when we start having power with our pride, we can actually destroy people. We can kill people physically. We can destroy them mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Okay? So pride is actually a little bit of a dangerous energy, especially when the pride is really, really strong. You've heard that saying, saying proud as a peacock. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? 
people walking around, strutting around as though they're like the gift to the world. I've seen, <laughs> you know, I've traveled a lot, so in airports I would see that. I remember, I just remember because things just present, but I remember one time I was in Vegas airport and um, I remember this guy, he had this coat, was like, like a, a, you know what I mean, like the fur, like a real, real fur, real, real, I don't know if it was mink, but it was like, it was kind of flashy, you know, long, full thing, and man, that guy was just walking around like he was the gift to all that is, and it was such a crack up. But that's, you know, that's pride, so that, that kind of pride isn't going to hurt anybody, and yet, if he's that, if that's really feeding his ego, I guarantee you he's going to be doing other things in his life that puts others down or that rises above others and makes them feel less than because he's needing to be uh, recognized as someone that stands out, someone special. So pride actually causes a separation with everyone. You, you know, if, you, if you've got a lot of pride, it, doesn't, it isn't just things like, okay, I have so much pride that I have to do everything per perfect. That's perfectionism, that's not pride. Okay? Pride has to do with a feeling inside. And usually, when we really track this, that when we look at pride, and we look at someone who has a lot of, a lot of pride inside, it can, it can actually do things, or we experience things like, we can never go out in the world and, and not be perfect. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Because the world's all looking at, at us, at me. Okay, so everything has to be perfect, so there's pride in how they dress, there's pride in the makeup, there's pride in the jewelry, everything's got to be like perfect, blah, blah, blah. And there's pride in, in everything that we present, you know what I mean? So it's, it's like a major separation from the self, mm -hmm. big time separation. And actually when I, when I watch the frequency of pride, literally, like if those of you who track energy, like if we really look at, we can use Trump because he's definitely someone of the, uh, that's recognized right now and then will be for a long time. But if you look at the energy as I'm speaking of it, the pridefulness, there's, it's almost like there's an energy field inside a physical body. So even though the physical body is alive, moving, there's something else inside that's totally separate from the physical body. Okay? It's a frequency of total separation not just from everybody else, but total separation from the self. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, it, yes, it's encapsulated, okay? Big energy, big frequency, okay? So that, it's like when I look into that and I actually penetrate that in his frequency, it's like a live body. Okay? It's like a live body inside of a body. So his physical body, there's no ownership claiming of it, but the other frequency inside that's full of pride, this is who he thinks he is. This grandiose being, this all-powerful being. He's not even saying some of the stuff that he's thinking. Okay? He, he does. He thinks he's, he thinks he's God. He thinks he has the power of creation. Okay? And there's, a, it's like the, there's like no connection to the self. Okay? So therefore, he cannot have any sense of other. It's not possible to have any compassion or understanding, and it's also, that's also how we can become, almost in a sense, cruel, heartless, okay? Now, if we just kind of do, the, you know, like normal people that are, have a lot of pride, pride also has to do with the feeling that there, there's like, um, it's, it's a feeling of, how can I say, it's more like, um, I'm not good enough, okay? There, it has, there's a different frequency than other, you know, other topics, other pieces. And the energy of the, like when we talk about the, the peacock, you know, strutting around, just, you know, it's like we're, we're acting as though we're something greater than we are because we're trying to show everybody how great we are, okay? So anytime someone is doing that, I guarantee you there's low self-esteem. Low self-worth. It's just what's going to be happening. So usually the more prideful one is, or the more pride they display, 
the bigger the disconnect, the bigger the wounding, the bigger the need to be, you know, to show you who I am or show you that I'm something special. But it's interesting because they can't feel their own wounding because of that sack of energy that they're living, the bubble that they're living in that's not fully inside of the physical body. Okay, now there's extreme cases of pride and then there's, you know, the, then there's just the normal person that does have like a false pride. Okay, and that's typical, it's another thing, this is another thing that happens for all of humanity. This is also why it's one of the seven sins because it affects all of humanity. Everyone has a time or place where they are in their pride or feeling prideful or feeling that separation or feeling something that causes them to display a sense of pride. Again, I'm not saying your accomplishments and things like that. I'm talking about the physical, emotional sensation that you feel inside that your body when you are in a pride feeling state, okay? And I've been to um, conventions where healer, you know, different healers, different kinds of modality, all kinds of different things, big, lots of people, lots of booths and things like that. And the people behind some of the booths, some of them were just, you know, f just very normal, no pride happening. Others were in a, you know, like, because they're there, and they've got their booth, somehow they became important, okay? So that made them be important because they have a booth. And when they walk around, they're walking around like I'm special, but it's all this pride, this feeling of pride, okay? Pride is built on a false foundation. Again, if you're just being who you are, you're not going to have a feeling of pride. You're just going to be normal. You're just going to be kind of like doing your garden. Okay? But then somebody else, see that's another thing too, is we've all got our filters on, and when we look at somebody else, herein lies the problem. We cannot see people clearly through our filter. Okay? So you might be looking at somebody going, oh, you're full of pride. Your actions are prideful. But how can I know that? Because I'm looking through a filter of my own filter. I can only see my own filter. I can't see your filter. So whatever's inside of me, that's my projections. That's my filter. No one on the planet other than five people have clear filters. Everyone has some kind of filter. Have you noticed that when you judge somebody, there's a feeling inside? That's coming from your filter. If you had no filters, no judging would happen. Okay, <clears throat> so pride is something that grandiose, grandiosizes ourselves. It makes ourselves better. And once again, it does, it creates separation. It creates that sense of, I'm better than you, I know more than you, I'm more special than you, okay? We wouldn't have that if we weren't feeling the very opposite of those feelings. It's not possible, okay? So, not, you know, like, I'm sure that everyone has moments where they're feeling a little pride, but usually, you know, at generally, you're not going to have a whole lot of pride. You know, you're going to see it more in people that are um, trying to make their way in the, that become more visible. That you know what I mean? It's like they're really trying to show something or accomplish something or do something or be something. It can even be in like small communities. It doesn't matter. But there's a drive. They're driven to be recognized and be seen as special and unique. They may not think that in the mind, but that's part of the driving force, is that need to be different, okay? So if I'm different and no one's like me, then I get to be the special one. I'm the chosen one. That's all pride. Okay, this is cool, you guys. You're going to like this one. Almost everybody on the planet has a feeling that nobody knows what they know. 
Got it? Okay. It's true, isn't it? Okay. No one's ever lived what you've lived. No one has suffered like you have suffered. And this was a cool one. You're the chosen one. <laughs> okay? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You're the next Messiah. Ever have that thought? Yeah. You're the chosen one. You're the next you're the chosen one. You're the one. You're the Messiah. Okay? This all comes from feeling less than. Okay? It's the need to feel and be special. And you've heard this already. You are, you're special. You're unique. There's no one like you. There's not another one of you anywhere. Never has been, never will be. Just like your DNA, just like all these different, your thumbprint, all these things. There's only one you. That in itself makes you special. And it's not about that. It's about the feeling inside that you're not. Okay? So, in pride, what we're dealing with is people's broken, shattered selves, where they feel unloved, unwanted, where they feel not belonging. And then what happens is we have to overcompensate by being special, by being the chosen one, by being the next Messiah. You know, we're going to save humanity. We're going to change everything because I'm the chosen one. Okay? I told you about that in class one time. I had a whole class. I got like 30 people in there. And everybody, once we, we were owning it, yeah, and one guy actually, he, he couldn't let it go. He really said, I am the chosen one. So, but if people tell the truth, it's like it goes really deep, really deep. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so pride... The, the sin of pride, okay? So we would, you know, too, it's like being shamed. You know, people shame you for being pride, having pride or whatever, okay? So again, it's like all this fractured energies in the energy field. So when we start looking at the feeling of pride, so let's just actually, if you can remember a time or even with different people or situations where you could feel some pride, okay? It may not be doing the garden, but it's going to be something. And it might be have to do with perhaps what you're skilled in or, you know, like being special in what you do. There's some, somewhere you're going to feel some pride, okay? Now, I'm having you do this because I want you to notice the sensations that arise when you feel that, okay? Now, notice that when you, when you feel that sense of pride, that it's almost like the energy kind of moves up through the body. Can you feel that? Does that make sense? I can't find it. I just feel sick to my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> that too, okay? <laughs> just let that be. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, even in that feeling sick to the stomach, if you just pay attention to the frequency, the energy as, as you're feeling it, when you let yourself even just remember something where you felt pride, I mean, you might have to dig for it, some of you, but just see if you can't remember something. Maybe, maybe it was something, you know, maybe it was something to do with school, accomplishments, or doing something, even artwork. Mm -hmm. Yeah, different things. So whatever you can remember, that feeling of pride. Now, I want you to notice this. Pay attention that as you're doing that, as you're remembering that time, are those, you know, that, that whatever it is that you're remembering, bring that back. But just notice now, as you're doing that, notice how the frequency literally moves up your body. I'm not joking. It moves up your body. You can literally feel physical sensation of coming up. Okay? Okay. So what's happening is you're moving away from the lower centers. You're moving away from the second chakra area where you're going, this is where the, the need, the want, the desire to be special is, it's in that second chakra. It's not so much life, death, first chakra stuff, it's emotional. It's emotional pain, feeling emotionally 
unloved, unwanted, broken. Okay, so there, this is the overcompensation. This is the other side of, you know, not letting anybody see that you are broken, that you are hurt, that you are shattered, and that you also feel perhaps like incompetent or incapable or unable or something that where you're not really um, able to do and become and live how you would like, okay? So this is the, the flip side. These are all, everything's a flip side. So what we're after is what's underneath the flip side. If we stay with just trying to deal with pride, we won't really clear anything. We want to go into what's underneath that, okay? Now, as you've done that, now that you've gone ahead and remembered something that made you feel prideful, now take your awareness, just where that energy kind of lifted up, it might go right into nausea, it might go into that lower part of your physical body. But now just taking your awareness and as you bring that image of, that memory of, a time when you felt that pride, when you felt very prideful, you can feel yourself lifting your, it's almost like lifting up, okay? And now we're gonna go down. We're just gonna keep going into, into, into that sensation that pride is literally actually covering up, okay? Now when you do that, when you drop in, now you're gonna to start to hit those deeper frequencies, those deeper layers of the trauma, the shock, the um, humiliations, the shame, the, the frequencies that don't feel so good. So partly what's happening is when you feel that frequency, you're gonna to wanna to get away from it. And what better way to get away from it is to go into feeling pride, okay? If we go back to Trump, there's no way. The guy could probably, in this lifetime, he's not gonna be able to go into that quagmire of intense, intense, intense feeling in his energy, in his second chakra. No way, it's too much, okay? Okay, it's, and also too, damn it, the, the harm that one has caused. That's also another, another issue that we use pride to overcompensate. You know what I'm saying? So if I've done something that was very hurtful to you or cruel to you or debilitating to you or shaming to you or humiliating to you, it's like I've lessened you to make myself bigger, more special, more powerful, and it gives me more pride, okay? He's got a lot of that in his energy field, okay? When I look at people here, it's not so much that kind of frequency where you've caused harm to others or tried to over, you know, step over them to, to be witnessed as something special. It, it has more to do with feeling not special. Okay, that's what I'm seeing more with the, the, norm, the average human being. There's all the gamuts of, of all of it, but basically the average person is gonna be overcompensating the feeling of uh, pain, grief, despair, sadness, lack, unworthiness, things like that. Okay, good. Okay, now as you go in and you let yourself just be with that, I want you just to stay there for a moment. I want you just to kind of go in, 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 in to your own self, your emotional second chakra area. Mm-hmm. And then I want you just to think about pride in the sense of being proud of what you have done, things that you have truly accomplished. Let's just, okay, for just a moment, know that, remember that feeling I was referring to earlier, where you have that feeling where you have, no one knows who you are, no one knows what you have lived, that you know more than anyone else, okay? Right in there, there's a feeling, there's an actual frequency of a feeling I want you to feel into, okay? It has a quality of, now check this out, poor me. Poor me. Okay? That's where I want you to stay for a moment. Just stay right there with that poor me. Now notice how discomfort, how uncomfortable that sensation, that feeling is. On some level, there's a familiarity with it, and yet it's not really where you want to live. Okay? So it has that, it has that victim, poor me, disempowered sensation, feeling, Okay, now 
Let's kind of pull back out and go back into that feeling of pride. Perhaps it's accomplishment. It doesn't matter what that is, but somewhere you've got pride in something you have done, something you have accomplished that goes beyond anybody else that you know. So just again, just take your awareness and go into that feeling of pride for a moment. But as you're doing that, also notice that as you move into the pride, you start to disengage from that sensation that feels more like that poor me, that, that, that quality of negative kind of, it goes into really dark frequency, okay? So what we really want to do is we want to release that frequency so that you don't have to push out into a sense of pride, but you're more in a state of just being who you are. No thoughts around what you've done or haven't done or what you could be doing or who you could be, but just being who you are. That's really more what we want to happen in our, in our lives, in our world. Okay, good. So now... <clears throat> 